Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to create the collection goals for our questing system in our simple RPG. To do this, I'm going to just simply duplicate my kill goal and I want to call it collection goal. So what does a collection goal need? Well, it's very similar to our kill goal in that it needs to know what specifically it's looking for. In this case, it was looking for an enemy ID, but I want to make sure that our collection goal is looking for an item ID. And this could be a string value. It could be an actual integer that is the identifier for your item. However you use it in your item database. But in my case, it's going to be a string value. So I'm going to change this to a string and public kill goal. The constructor is actually going to be collection goal. And we want everything except for the enemy ID. We want this to be a string that is the item ID. And what we're going to be doing is just hooking into our UI event system that actually fires off whenever we pick up an item and use that to determine if we picked up an item that this quest cares about in the same way we determine if we killed an enemy that this quest cares about. So this dot item ID is equal to item ID. Very simple to do this, right? So now what I want to do is I want to change enemy ID or enemy died to be equal to item picked up and change the parameter to an item because the event we know takes an item type it takes an item as a parameter and that's what we need for this to determine what item we picked up so now what we want to do is hook into a different event and this is going to be through the UI or what was it called uh, inventory yeah, it's not even recognizing goal. Hmm. I'm going to exclude from project and then add existing item assets, um, scripts, questing, and then add in collection goal. Let it generate the metadata for us. Okay, cool. And there we are. So now, and now it actually found goal. So we're actually a part of the solution. There we go. Good. So now what I can do is I can go through UI event handler and it's the uh, on item added to inventory. And we're going to add the listener for item picked up the same way we did the other thing there, except for the item version of that. And now, as I mentioned before, this could be named something differently. You could have a unified event system for this kind of thing instead of these two separate event systems that we have for UI and other things. Uh, that way they would make more sense to hook into this for this kind of thing as opposed to it being what sounds like only for UI. And I'll just check the item object slug because that's what we use to identify our items against this dot item ID. And it works the exact same way that the enemy check did except for an item. Very simple to do. And what's cool about the system is now all we're doing is doing the exact same thing. We're incrementing the current amount and then we're evaluating the exact same way. Pretty cool. So now if I were to go into my quests here and open up ultimate slayer, we have two kill goals added to this, but I can also add to my goals. I can add a new collection goal now. And this also takes a quest reference needs an item ID, so it's gonna be a string value. It's gonna be looking for uh, potion log. So whenever you find one log potion, it checks off this goal as completed. Description, find a log potion. It's not completed. Current amount is zero. Required amount is one. So you need to find one log potion in order to complete this. There we go. So now Ultimate Slayer, not only do you have to kill five slimes and two vampires, but you have to find a log potion which slimes just happen to drop. In fact, this is currently kill two slimes. So let's uh, let's test this out. And uh, Unity crashed. So let's, uh, let's test this out. And don't worry about this portal. This is gonna be in the next episode of Simple RPG when we create portals. I'm gonna go get my quest from this guy. Equip my sword. I'm gonna go on a killing spree. So I need to find the log potion. So goal mark as completed was for the enemy dying. So I need a log potion. It's a sword. Maybe they don't drop log. Whoa. There's one. Goal marked as completed. 
kill a couple more vampires here just to make sure. Let me go back to this person. Thanks for that. Here's your reward. More dialogue. And we got our reward. And we still have that, uh, the issue with the scroll view here. Ooh. Yeah, we need to work on that. No problem, though. Just a couple of changes to make. But that's going to be it for the collection goal. Very simple to do. It's very similar to the kill goal, except you're looking for an item as opposed to an enemy. And you can do this with anything. Notice how easy it is to create new goals and to actually add them to your quests mixed in with other types of goals. And uh, some of you may be thinking that this system is, is limited in that it's not showing you how to do everything. But it's definitely showing you how to set it up so you can create various types of quests and also get rewards for those quests. Uh, one question I've had and a couple of suggestions that I've had was how would I go about doing dialogue that's specific to a quest? So currently we talk to a guy, he says uh, something specific to the quest, but then everything else after that is generic. Thanks for that. Here's your reward, blah, 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 as you just saw. But if we go over, I, I made a quick tutorial on the forum, quest specific NPC dialogue tutorial. And this actually shows you how to set it up to have each quest have its own dialogue and then use that throughout dependent upon the progress of the quest. So you have the in progress dialogue, the reward dialogue, and then the completed dialogue, all that changes the, uh, the actual result of what the person says to you based on where in the quest you are. So check it out. There's going to be a link in the description, guys. My name is Austin, and I will see you next time.